sorry about the traffic noise. I'm hanging out here at a park in Boulder. This is a very cool city, by the way, my first time here. And I had an idea. I found this book yesterday in Barnes Noble. It was on sale for like $6 or something. How to see fairies. And those of you who are not at all interested in the fairy realm or the realm of the fae or the she, this, you probably won't be interested in that. And so that's cool. But I know that some of you guys out there have had experiences with these places with, or you might be super into fairies and not know why or, you know, all that kind of stuff. If you're drawn to crystals, if you need to be outside in nature a lot to feel whole, that kind of thing, you probably have a link to the fae realm because I've learned that it is actually a very real realm. It's just multidimensional. So that's actually what my next book that I'm still writing um, called Starseed Wilding. I've been working on this one for a few years, but the at least a big chunk of the first part of the book is going to be a lot about me finding out the fairy realm was real because I didn't think it was until into my adulthood. Okay, anyway, so I picked this book up because it just kind of called out to me from the shelf. See how it's got that little multi D thing going on with a little vortex on the cover. And I like stuff on fairies, I get a kick out of it. I don't always necessarily super resonate with it being legitimate, real. Um, actual multi-dimensional information sometimes it's entertainment but I usually still think it's cute and it often calls to me and so this did for that reason or so I thought but then after I bought it actually I realized that it was by Brian Froud and John Matthews and John Matthews I'm not that familiar with although I know he's a well-known author but Brian Froud is one of as far as I know the best fae illustrators who can bring through what's going on in that realm to a way that your visual eyes in this realm can understand it. And I've been aware of his work ever since I was first um, aware of any of this multi-D stuff well over a decade ago. So I really admire his work. So then I realized that this book is actually a um, kind of a portal for those of you who would want to interact with Faye, actually, those of you who believe in this stuff. So I haven't read it yet. I'm a little nervous because I think it's super legit. So I thought I would read it out here in nature. I've got my little crystals here, my amethyst and citrine charging up on the ground, my little jade Ganesha, and I carry on a little bronze Ganesha. I don't know why I always have both of them, but they're always in my purse. And this peacock ore that's been wearing away. So anyway, um, and I'm sitting here in this park and I just did some yoga and I just meditated. And I'm about to read this book and I'll tell you how it is. If it's as good as I think it's gonna be, even though it's super simple, I think I might make it my next book club book. So I'll tell you in a second after I read it. Okay, so I just finished the, reading this book called How to See Fairies. And I read it sitting here in a park, which I would very much recommend. It probably took me maybe about a half hour to read it. It's not that there's tons of words on any given page. I mean, some of them only have a few. But it's kind of an interactive, pop up y kind of book. Um, so there's a lot of things going on during the pages that you want to dive into, especially because just because it's in short sentences and easy vocabulary to understand, it doesn't mean that it's for children or that it's simple in concept. And that's something that I find my academic mind kind of skimming and then I have to stop myself and walk through it again because when you're talking about the elemental realm, the fey realm, often there's a lot of pun used and there's a lot of, um, you know, words behind the words behind the words where they're making a observation about something that might not be directly related to what they're saying. You kind of have to turn on the back sections of your mind to get it. And this is full of that. And there were also a couple of really great synchronicities for me when I read this. It started full off on one um, and it had to do with just colors I was seeing in my world and I'll tell you guys what it is. So today I just happened to be wearing um, a black shirt and my pink fade with love pants, which I love, right? And they're really colorful and so I always can kind of feel them when I wear them, but I'm wearing them with a black shirt, right? Seems like a simple little thing, does not really matter, right? But as I'm holding this book, I'm holding it down in my lap, so the background, it looks like this to me. It's like this, okay? So the background is so-and-so, just kind of the my pants and the book and the grass, and then there's all this regular text going on for a couple pages, and then first color is 
the same color as my pants <laughs> and the same kind of funny little design and then this guy is wearing the same thing so that was my own personal little sink and the book was full of funny little personal sinks like that but there is a spirit technology you can put into books when you write them where the the entity made up of all of the letters words concepts all woven in together that is the book can kind of interact with the reader so that is an intention you can put into work you make you can make that with any art and I'm sure a lot of you guys already know that so back to this there's a couple cool little things like at one point it has you look in here to see what is going to come through and so what I just kind of intuited doing when I opened this was moving it to a spot where you could see the sunlight I would like to show this to you guys again we could see the sunlight and then watching see that at all. And then watching as the sunlight danced through the, the little stage there. And I totally got messages watching it. I was watching it and, um, and the patterns the leaves were making moving across the different levels of this little stage because there are different depths in here. So as they were moving through the different depths, I was getting little ideas about what it meant to my situations, whatever my brain was having to go to at the time. So I really like this book. I think I will make it the next Monthly Magic Book Club book. I like talking about The Roman Fairy, and I think this is legit. I do. I think that it is an actual communication tool. Now, anything could be made a communication tool if you know what you're doing, but these people are ones who had communicated, I believe, authentically with this realm. And so if you're into it, if you're into fairies, then come join the Monthly Magic Book Club on Facebook. And I love it when the books come across my lap like this. It's fantastic. And, or just read this book. I don't, you don't have to join my book club. <laughs> but we will be talking about some fun things about the world of fairy because of it. All right, guys. Much love. And take care of yourselves. Enjoy this beautiful earth. Get outside and ground. And, oh, I'm opening up a Goddess Glow Facebook mentorship program. So go to my website and see if there's anything up about that yet. It should be up in the next few days if it's not up already. All right. Much love. And see you guys very soon.